Welcome to another tutorial on MATLAB. In this tutorial, we will see how a change in the model will have impact in the code that we will be generating from the model. How can we influence the code reusability and how can we mention something as inline or it can be a separate function. In the previous tutorial, we have seen how to create a plant model, how to create a controller model, how to create a test harness for any type of model subsystem and also along with that we have seen like how the callbacks or model property works. To see all those videos, please have a look into the other videos in this particular playlist. In this tutorial, we will see what is the influence of model change into the code. So let's get started with the same. As you know, this is the model that we have created. So now let's make some changes in this particular model. So what we will be doing, we will be doing a group sub chart of a particular sub part of the state flow chart. Like this is the on state and on state contains multiple sub states. So what we will be doing, it is like a creating a subsystem which is equivalent to simulink but uh, here we will be creating a sub chart this is a sub chart and if you double click and go inside the sub chart then you will be able to see actual implementation that is already done so here this way you can create model hierarchies so this also we are making as a group sub chart so here we are making the working state as a sub chart and then we will be changing this property of this particular state which is being subcharted into a function type not inline but a function type so right click on the same and go to properties go to properties and in the properties you will be able to see there is an option for create output for monitoring or next is function inline option so you can choose this auto inline or a function so here we are choosing this as a function now we will go outside and we'll build this model and generate the c code and see whether this working function is actually being created in the build or not in the c code or not so here we will be typing working so we will find that function so working is the function that is created in this particular file and if you want to see that particular function definition then you need to click on that feature underscore one underscore working then you will go to that particular function this is the function where it is defining all these things so this function was not present previously and as we have changed the property of the working block we are getting this function so let's try the opposite way we will disable that function part by clicking on the properties and choosing it as inline okay now we will generate the build or the c code now if we search the keyword working we will not be able to find that as a function we will be able to find that but not as a function it is inbuilt inside the step function there is no specific function that is created for the working state this is how you can control the function creation by changing the properties of the model and you can tune it based on your requirement in case you are liking our channel please consider subscribing in case you have any comment or suggestion please share it in the comment box so that we can improve your learning experience in matlab in this particular channel happy learning matlab and have a good day.